One of my favorite stories about Jim is one of the first things that happened when we moved into the president's home. It was a Saturday afternoon, the doorbell rang, and there were four male students standing there with Frisbees in their hand. And they looked at me and said, can the president come out and play? I got Jim to come to the door, and they asked him. And so I had, I had walked away by that point, and Jim kind of yelled back over his shoulder, and he said, Marsha, can I go out and play? So I said to him, <laughs> I yelled back at him, and I said, sure but be sure you're home by five o'clock because we have somewhere we need to be. In my opinion, President Barker is an innovator at Clemson because of his, his visions and his goals for the institution. He came in with his goals set high, which is why we've progressed in the past 14 years the way we have. The students who come here are passionate about their education and are passionate about their Clemson experience, and that's because of him. So Jim had this vision. He said, we're going to move in the top 25, become a top 20 institution and at the same time be a top 10 athletic program as well. So as someone moving to Clemson, not of South Carolina or from here, I was looking at that and I saw, man, that is an innovative approach. He had a concept, they did the research, understood how to move themselves into that position and accomplished it under his leadership. Jim is really a, a creative person and I'm gonna plug him as an architect if you don't mind. Uh, one thing interesting about an architectural design process is you think of a concept, an overall picture, you know, like, what's the big idea? And then you kind of work, work through that. I was one of the members of the team that worked on a project that became known as ICAR. Uh, in fact, I was in the room today that what became ICAR was sort of invented. It was invented in a conversation between Jim Barker and Chris Brzezemble and uh, my former president at BMW Helmut Loiba. It was a remarkable conversation amongst really a group of very bright people trying to think about the long-term future both for the automobile industry and for BMW and, and for Clemson University. And the result of that was ICAR. He thinks everything is possible. He has bold ideas every day. Jim was an amazing guy to work with. Uh, he has an amazing ability to compartmentalize stay focused on the project and shepherd us through. Uh, he also had an amazing ability to keep everybody inspired. I think he has that gift of, of making everyone see that yes, it is possible. Yes, we are good. Yes, we can do this. As a young man from Tennessee, he wanted to come to Clemson and um, he was offered a track scholarship, pole vaulting scholarship. I think good leadership characterized by someone who's a pole vaulter, who can go around, not around the end, but go right over the top. I think everyone across the state knows how Jim cares about Clemson University and about how much he loves Clemson University. But I think I would want every to make sure that everyone in the state knows how much he cares about South Carolina, the people of South Carolina, and about South Carolina being the very best as well. Jim, for all that you've done for South Carolina, and congratulations on winning the Towns Award. Um, couldn't be more pleased. It's been such an honor working with you for the past year, and I can't think of anyone more deserving. You've changed the world, not just South Carolina, but you set, you know, footprints in the sand for other presidents to follow here and other places. We thank you for it. And we honor you and Marsha for being with us for all these years. Your successes, everything you have accomplished have been just amazing to watch and wonderful to be a part of. And just the legacy that you leave for our children and our grandchildren, it's just remarkable. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the 2014 Towns Award recipient, Jim Barker.